okay so let's take a look at lists in Mathematica and for that we will open new notebook right so once you have open notebook make sure to choose from language input now here I want to create my list so let's say to create a list we use keyword list and now within square bracket what we will do is we will add list items so let's say a b c d are my list items so if I shift enter it it will show me the list within this curly bracket and these items within the list right you can also show the full form for this list right so let's say full form right and then within that we will try and create our list items okay so a b c and d right so if i use shift enter it should show you the list with its list items inside right now next thing is if i try to use a list with range of values i can use range keyword right and let's see for range of four let's see what it shows it shows from one to four range of list items right similarly we can also use array function so let me just clear all of this select all and then clear right now let's go ahead with list using array function so we use array and then within square bracket let's say f24 and if i use shift enter it will show me f1 f2 f3 f4 so the left hand parameter will be chosen as the argument uh, and one two three four sets the range right so here we also create one form of a list now if you use something like table right and within square bracket you can see we have f right and if we set i for that so there is an iterator so for iterator we set the range iterator up to 4 and if we use shift enter here you see similar output so table and array can give you both a list with iterating items right now let's clear this now let's see with range we can also perform some of the operations like say for x to x plus 4 we can perform this for various values so x then 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 plus x 4 plus x right so with a range function we get that as well so there is one more where you can see uh, the random data can be used so random sample and within that we can set range which is for 10 so if we shift enter you can see it will have 10 values with random sample right so if you want nested values for range you can do so let's say range of range and here we pass on 6 right and if we use shift enter you get nested range right and here you see uh, let's say nest keyword can be also used so range and then we pass on let's say 3 and 6 for that range right so it should give you the nested values as well right so that's that was for the range that we use with list so let's clear this right similarly we can also use nest list so for nest list we use keyword nest list and within that we pass on f then x and then 4 right and then shift enter and we get that value now let's go with the nest list and then let's say within that we can also get values like cos 1.0 and then 10 and if we shift enter it 
we get the output right now similarly if we get nest list we can see we have value let's say to hash then one right and then we can use and keyword and here we pass on 110 and if we use shift enter it will show the power of 2 within our nest list right so that was for nested list select all let's clear this now comes the math operation so apart from uh, typical operations that we have performed we can use function like total so total can take something like let's say one two three four right and if you use shift enter it will show you the total so what if there is some value or say list of items like a b c d with no specific value given to them you see the total is shown like this right similarly if you want difference so let me clear this so we can get this properly notice that i'm using wolfram language input there and here you see so we get differences right and within that we choose something like let's say 12 10 14 and let's say 3 right these are some of the uh, values if you want some successive values simply let's go with typical input here and if you use shift enter it will show you what type of successive difference is being applied here so minus a plus b then minus b plus c minus c plus d now let's say if we call for certain elements so let's say a b then double b then c c and then a and then again let's say b and a and then b now if you want to find out how many times b appeared so we can use simply b here and shift enter and we get the count of four right similarly if you want to get the distinct count so what we can do is we can simply go for distinct right so now in case of count distinct we can go for that particular list so a b and b and c e and then a right so we have to calculate distinct elements so if we run this you will notice that it will show you a b c and e right so four and anything repeat is ignored right so after that we can also take a look at simple visualization which is uh, done with column row creed and array plot so we'll try to find something simple so here list is visualized and not your typical uh, bar chart or plots right so if we use wolfram language and go for column that shows 1 12 123 124 120 and 1 2 3 4 right if i want to arrange it properly how it can be arranged so let's say if we keep on adding values and use shift enter right here you see it is arranged within columns similarly we can do the same for row right and here you see a a a p then c c c then d d and let's say if we want to arrange that within proper rows here you see it is arranged in a row right so basically it will try to format list into row and as you can see for this is column right so if we turn a clear this 
right so next comes the grid so for grid basically what happens is we use let's say a b and c and then in a next list we will use x y and z right if we try to shift enter this it should now here notice that we missed one curly bracket so we have to use that and here you see when you use the double curly bracket it will show you a b c x y z within grid format if we add one more let's say z n and b and we try to shift enter again it will show you the grid output for that keep on adding the elements and it will reflect accordingly right so let's see if I add 4 by 4 that should also work right and here notice we used Y so it resulted in breaking of that right now let me repeat it and here you see grid form again right so you get the idea how to visualize your risk with column row grid and there are also plots but we will take a look at them separately from list